first and I feel like I may know the answer because then it can give Zoe a chance to think about it. What's your favorite way to orgasm? Ah, wow. wow! Yeah. This got you just saucy. took a whole fucking yeah, slam. Like saucy. I like to get the, the tea out. <laughs> alright. Um, alright. Um, <laughs> Getting fucked <laughs> and using a vibrator. <laughs> and using a vibrator? Yeah. On the top. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you meant. At the same, um, like really hard. Yeah. Like fucking, like getting absolutely railed. <laughs> so would you say you're a rough lover then? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. For okay. sure. What about you, Zoe? Um, I don't have to think about it at all. Came to my mind right away. Oh, I'm um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I've never had sex. Um, no, probably someone going down on me. Yeah, that yeah. is. It's just. It's just. And girls just, just know how to do it. Absolutely. Like I feel like I'm seasoned. So you you would call yourself more of a gentle, sensual lover. I remember I heard probably. you and Bianca have sex once uh, when we lived together. Really? When we came. You've home. never told me this. No, it was. I think it was on my birthday when you guys left early and all of us kept going. When oh, we went after to we went to the path. path, yeah. Yeah, and I ke we came home that and I was so like funny. walked down the hallway and I could hear it and I was like, yeah. That's so funny. I was like, that's what an American accent sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, your turn, Tay. With question. With, with that asked, question. That question. Yeah. See, I'm like you though. Okay. I'm, I'm more of a. Just slow just head, slow burn. Yeah. Take your time and enjoy it. Take your time and enjoy it. Yeah. So I'm a dirty slut. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, you know one, but like in bed. Also, some people have different sensitivity levels yeah. when it comes uh. to sex. Like some people are just like, as soon as you start going, they're like, yep, all right, I could just finish this right now. But some people need like a lot more. As Everyone's you go different. You're gonna get to know your, your partner. Everyone and know what is like different. And I can't believe how. Your brain is so... So this is what I deal with all the time. Really? So we'll be having a conversation about something and then Tay will, like, think about something from, like, four hours ago. Yeah. And already have had half the conversation in her head. Yeah. And the sentence that comes out is something that I don't even know what she's yeah, fucking Yeah, you don't know about. the context I of. have no <laughs> idea. And she goes, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I shouldn't be doing that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just true. before we were talking about, like, cows or something like just something totally yeah. completely yeah, irrelevant that's me. so her asking a random fucking question like that it's is no so surprise. normal <laughs> honestly that's kind of perfect for the podcast though because <laughs> we really touched on like red flags that you wouldn't overlook now and really now we're just diving into the next topic of sex yeah which i actually did have a q and a of sex stuff um for us and we're just going to continue this theme of each episode where um, you guys can just send us emails to the business email down below if you've got a crazy sex story or something that you would like read out or mm. you know something cool. Why is my hair look so fun? So yeah, unless Tay has any more wild questions I've, from the back, I, I will actually have some more. <laughs> okay. But I also want to say on wild sex stories topic. Yep. I have heard one recently that's really messed up. Okay. okay. You have to say it. Okay. So I. If there's a fact finder on this story, it's I heard it through a friend whose friend told them this. Right. So that's it's like it's passed hearsay. down three times. It is it's hearsay, hearsay you're yeah. on. So it's <laughs> <laughs> But I've been told that my friend works in beauty, so she gets lots of clients come through. Yep. Um and she's been told that Yeah, okay, here's a Tinder story. So they've met, basically their friends met someone on Tinder. Yep. And the person on Tinder, like the girl and the boy on Tinder have been speaking for, I don't know, a couple of weeks mm -hmm. and then they finally meet, they hang out a couple times and like maybe a month or two down the track, she goes over to his house to have sex mm -hmm. for the first time. Anyways, I have sex. If it's Tinder, it's not been a couple of weeks down the track. It's probably no. I think day. I think they took their time a bit, and oh, then because okay. I remember that being a part of the story that I got relayed to. So, mm. and then basically after they had sex, maybe half a week later, she started getting a rash, oh. and she goes to the doctors and she admits to the doctor she had unprotected sex. So she yeah. admits to the doctor that look, I've had unprotected sex recently. Blah blah blah. Anyways, a couple days later, when the results come back, the she, the doctors call and say you need to come in. So she goes in, and when she arrives, there's police at the at the um, doctor's place, right? Then she goes in, and she finds out that the rashes are from dead skin cells. I knew it was gonna fucking yeah. be that. Yeah, 
and then the police goes to his house and they will like scan the bed everything and it's all dead skin cells and he's been sleeping with dead bodies basically whoa yeah so what yeah. how do you Holy fuck. what does that mean he's a murderer no, he, I, I don't know. I don't know if he's a murderer or if he's digging up dead bodies or he works in a morgue. Works in a morgue. Yeah, I was gonna say one of the, one of the above. Fuck. I don't know what's worse. Mm. I think being the murderer is worse. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. No. Actually, oh. I don't know. Digging up dead corpses, not yeah. knowing they're fucking. So that's that's necrophilia, isn't it? Isn't yeah. That what that's called? Yeah. I think it's a, like an actual kink, though. People really kink. Oh my god, I'm like, that is just giving me sh- yeah, That is like kink so, shame. That is like so shame. horrible. Some kinks should be shamed. <laughs> yeah, actually, There are some true. that they're illegal for a fucking reason. True. Yeah. Like oh bestiality, that necrophilia, pedophilia. with a philia on the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow, I'm like shook right now. I don't even Ew. know what to- I don't know how to follow that. That yeah. is a wild- That's, that's a wild fucked. story, right? Oh my I god. was so Poor girl. Yeah, how do you move on from that? She didn't do anything realistically that bad. Like, yeah. Well, wait, so the police had to examine her? No, no they had to ask her questions who she slept with because of these dead skin cells. Mm. And then they went to his house. They would have had probably enough, I'm assuming, for a arrest. Yeah, arrest. Shit. That Ugh. is so fucked. That is not for me. I do not have a crazier sex story than that. No, neither do I. <laughs> nothing that I have, nothing I was going to say was anything like that. Um, that's fucking crazy. Maybe yeah. I'll just, I'll go on to next with one of the questions that um, I have, which is... <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> I just... Yeah, I don't even know. That is fucking crazy. Um, where is the craziest place you've had sex? Jordan? It's not that crazy, but I would say... Okay, but... The two that I would feel are on par would be like I fucked on a plane a few times. Yeah, okay. Of on, crazy, on the yeah. chair and in the bathroom. Yeah. Um, and then I had sex outside of church. Okay. Ooh. Mm, after That's a festival. A cool yeah, that was wow. fucking. That was fun too. I was so fucked up. Oh, Mine's man. actually a church too. Really? Yeah. Love that. Uh, well, I had sex Lesbian like at things. the back. Oh, it was actually a guy. Oh, mine was a girl. This was so years worse. ago. And the same guy. So we we slept together at the back of a church. We didn't know it was a church. Wait, just, did like, you at the back of a church too? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's with a guy. I know. It was us. years ago. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <a second. laughs> no, this was years ago. A guy who I met at schoolies. Um, and the same guy. We also had another crazy story. We one time went to like a football stadium and we're having sex in the car and the fucking police showed up and we saw the lights and we were just like fuck and all of our clothes were just like not accessible <laughs> and then the police just pull up next to us and turn on like a giant <gasps> spotlight. Like the biggest fucking light I've ever seen. Plus they all have torches. And Surely no, they're not. They shouldn't just do that. Because oh. obviously people are going to be fucking. Well, what they said was, so we ran down the window. It was, too, it was too awkward. We ran down the window and they literally are on the speaker because they weren't that close to us. And he's like, I just have to ask if this is consensual. And we're, and we're like, yes. And he goes, I need to hear it from both of you individually that you both say that this is consensual. And I was like, yes, this is consensual. And then he was like, is it your car? Is your name on the registration? And then I, he said yes. And then he goes, what's your name? So I told him, he goes, okay, cool. That does match the registration. So you're saying this is consensual. And I said, yes, it is. And then he goes, but you do realize this is illegal. You are not allowed. Like, it's illegal to have sex in public. In the car, it's still public? Yeah. And we were like, okay, yep. And then he goes, I know this would be embarrassing. So we're just going to drive off and you're going to stop what you're doing. <laughs> We're just going to trust that you're going to stop doing this. And then they just drove off. Oh, my both God. Like, what a nice cop. That is a nice cop. Yeah. That is unreal. <laughs> How awkward for them. That is, for yeah. Me, I've never forgotten They handled that. it well. But imagine if they, like, put that on my... Record. Yeah. <sighs> like, on my thing. Is like... there, like, a sex offenders list? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine though? Any time, hope not. anytime a cop pulls me over, they can look up the thing and go. Sex in public. Yeah, this person had sex in public in this car. I've had sex in public heaps. I've just mm. never been caught. Cool. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, I think um, I've had sex in public more times than I could probably have sex in not public. Wow. No, that's a lot. No, that's, that's, no. that's over <laughs> Yeah, that is being really dramatic. <laughs> 
Um, Tay, where's the wildest place you've had sex? I'm not that crazy. I've had sex on a boat. Babe, you would have Ooh. sex anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you've just had just boring fucking partners. Does anyone else have any more questions before we wrap this up? I don't any think more so. sex questions or X questions? Alright. All right. Tay's like, oh, yeah, I'm ready. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be controversial. Oh. Not to the public, but to you two. Oh. Um, and you can't lie. Jordan and I won't take offense. Okay. Zoe, your partner can't take offense. Okay. The, what is the, be the best person you slept with your partner? Yes. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like we have... You don't have to lie. No, dead no, I'm not lying. I feel like you and I have the sex that I've always wanted to have with someone. Mm. And actually, she has said that to me mm. privately. Mm. Because well, that's the only reason that we couldn't be friends. We were we were friends for ages. Yeah. We initially started sleeping together, and I was like, no, I'm not ready. Mm. I'm not emotionally ready for this. So we became friends for ages, but we kept having sex randomly because I was like, it's so good. Mm. I don't yeah. want to not have sex. You did say that to me. I remember when you first became like more than friends and you were saying how it felt more intimate and better than even when you were in a relationship with someone and I was like that's fucking saying something about yeah, your we past tried to be friends. <laughs> we did try to be friends we were trying to be friends for a while and now we're best friends mm. now we're besties <laughs> we are besties. yeah definitely for me too for sure because also I feel like yes it's the person that I'm like the most in love with but it's also I'm older now. I feel like I'm more like confident in my body and so is she and we're just like way more compatible. Yeah. yeah. More and grown. I feel like That's good sex, then. That's awesome. Mm. Sex isn't a taboo subject anymore, so I feel like if you wanted something different, you could just bring yeah, you it just up. Say it, yeah. yeah, just talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. So good. I love it. Well, love this podcast sex. was great. We're going to probably need Tay to direct it all the time with these wild <laughs> questions. Honestly, the, her brain going like, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Coming out with the questions. So if you have a crazy sex story that you want to tell, um, please email it to me. I'll put the email down below. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and subscribe on Spotify. And give us a rating on Spotify too. Yeah. Shout out to the fact that we have five stars like i'm pretty fucking Do impressed we? Yeah, we have five stars oh my god 30 or so reviews so it's a pretty good pretty good ratio that makes me happy i, I love know. that thanks guys yeah and shout out thank you again for always listening and loving and supporting you just did that really well <laughs> thanks <laughs>